I want to set the stage for you. Set the stage for you. In your house, bad blood. Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, Kane's debut. That feud between The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels lasted quite some time, building up to the Hell in the Cell matchup, where we saw Kane's debut, which led to <clears throat> Kane and The Undertaker going to WrestleMania. Very epic storytelling. Had bad blood pay-per-view. Had a bad blood pay-per-view for uh, uh, quite the few many years. And then it stopped. Fast forward to 2024. WWE brings back bad blood. And we are seeing CM Punk. Versus Drew McIntyre inside Hell in a Cell. In which I know some of you, especially those of you from uh, uh, the Attitude Era, are saying, why in the world are you comparing this feud to Drew... To, why are you comparing Drew McIntyre and CM Punk to Shawn Michaels and, and The Undertaker? There's no comparison. Hey, look, I came from the uh, Attitude Era... Also, y'all, but um, <clears throat> and before that, but hey, look, the way they have been building up Sam Punk and and, and Drew McIntyre from <clears throat> the Royal Rumble and, and WrestleMania, everything that they've been doing, leading till now, leading up to <clears throat> the uh, Bad Blood pay-per-view or premium live event, whatever you want to call them now, it deserves to end inside hell in a cell. And I like what they've been doing. And what better fitting, what better way, what better match to hopefully close, hopefully this closes hell in a cell. Uh, on Saturday night. Uh, that's exactly what I'm hoping. I'm going to get back to that in just a little bit. Uh, before we go into anything else, you all remember what to do. And that is to become a subscriber today. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for all notifications. If you like anything on this channel, whether it's my wrestling content like this, or my backyard beatdown content. Go and check out everything that's on it. It is appreciated. So make sure you become a subscriber. That is appreciated. And everybody who's in backyard beatdown will appreciate that as well. And if you go and hit a big thumbs up on all of those videos, they'll appreciate that as well. Damien Priest. Damien Priest versus. Well, Finn Balor, but really is against the whole Judgment Day. Now, if you ask me, this would be a perfect time to bring back the demon, uh, Finn Balor. Will they do that? Remains to be seen. But you know what? It is bad blood. So why not, why not give us something a little bit special? Why not give us something special and uh, give us the demon Finn Balor versus Damian Priest? Yes, I am uh, more of a Damien Priest fan than I am a Finn Balor fan. So this would be a loss for Damien Priest if they brought back the de demon. But uh, this is bad blood we're talking about here. Make the pay-per-view special. If you're bringing something back from all these years, make it special. Build this pay-per-view up, okay? Have it be a, a banger, all right? Don't just have this 
some normal matches and then a Hell in a Cell match. I mean, we know that Cody Rhodes versus Roman, Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns versus the Bloodline is going to have uh, uh, something cool. It's either going to be very predictable or something interesting is going to happen. Okay. And I'll get to that in just a little bit as well. Um, but, uh, hey, look. Right now, I'm going to say Damian Priest goes over Finn Balor. Uh, but that's because Finn Balor got the upper hand. Judgment Day got the upper hand on Raw. And on a normal WWE Wrestling 101, and it's been this way for years, Whoever gets the upper hand uh, on the go home show will lose at the pay per view. So Finn, ba- Finn Bauer loses, Damian Priest goes over. However, if Finn Bauer shows up as the demon at Bad Blood, Damian Priest, you're toast. <clears throat> The Women's World Championship on the line as Liv Morgan defends her strap against Rhea Ripley with Dominic Mysterio up above in a shark cage. And if you don't know what those are, it's one of those little B shark it's one of those little B cages that they've put that they've used a hundred thousand times before. They did it with Paul Bear. Uh, They did it with numerous other things, uh, numerous other matches. So um, that's pretty much what it is. Um, And and really, if you think about it, (laughs) in the end, if Rhea Ripley wins, then... Dominic Mysterio will be lowered, and not only will she get a women's title, and but she'll get uh, to beat up on Dominic Mysterio as well. Um, and will that happen? Um, this is a toss-up, okay? Because uh, really, probably Rhea Ripley will get one or the other, or she'll get both. Uh, you know, uh, I really am having a hard toss up with this. Um, really, Liv Morgan could go without having the women's championship now, and um, Rhea Ripley could just get the belt back and uh, <clears throat> go for uh, beating up Dominic Mysterio, and then Liv Morgan uh, save. Dominic Mysterio, or <clears throat> Liv Morgan and Dominic, uh, or Liv Morgan could win, and Dominic could be coming out of the uh, <clears throat> short cage, and then Rhea Ripley uh, attacks both of them, and um, <clears throat> the fans go home happy in that aspect as well. So that uh, is something that we should uh, have to look forward to uh, on Saturday. The Women's Championship, WWE Women's Championship on the line. That's Nia Jax versus Bayley. I do not care about this. And when Nia Jax comes out and this match starts, I will be taking my bathroom break. I'm just going to tell you. Because uh, this match sucks, and I feel sorry for Bailey uh, in this contest because she's going to get dropped Yokozuna style. Uh, and one, two, three, Nia Jax wins. Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns versus the Bloodline. Solo Sokoa and. Oh, crap. And Jacob Fatu. One of the two things is going to happen. And I'm going to tell you, I like the way they've been building this. Um, but either 
Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns are just going to win, which I don't see happening, but it's a possibility. Or we're going to have Roman Reigns turn on Cody Rhodes and the bloodline's going to win. And that will set up a match between Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns for the <clears throat> title when they go over to um, ne- for their next Saudi show. And at their next Saudi show, the Bloodline, or The Rock, will turn on Roman Reigns and cost Roman Reigns the tile. Simple as that. One of those two things is going to happen. Uh, I mean, just one of those two things is going to happen. And depending on who goes on last, uh, whether it's the Hell in a Cell or whether it's uh, Roman Reigns or that tag team matchup, excuse me, depends on how big of a moment, I, I, in my eyes, it's going to be for that you know, and that tag team match. Meaning, if Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns versus the Bloodline goes on first, I don't think it's going to be as 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 special as uh, as if it's in the main event. Because if it goes on first, we're not going to see you know Roman Reigns do all this and that, and you know we're not going to see all do all that. We'll probably just see Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns beat the Bloodline. If it's in the main event, yeah, we're probably going to see Cody Rhodes get uh, pinned. If we see the Hell in the Cell start the show, look, in the Hell in a Cell matchup, I hope we see some uh, blood, okay? I'm just going to tell you. Uh, I I really do. I hope we see some blood between CM Punk and Drew McIntyre. It's only fitting. One for the pay-per-view, two for the feud, and three for the match that they're in. Um, But yeah, it's a real toss-up, I'm going to tell you, uh, with the tag team matchup. And... um, I'm going for CM Punk to go over in the Hell in a Cell match. And that's not because I'm not a Drew McIntyre fan. I'm just going for CM Punk to go over in that. Okay. Um, And that's bad blood. All right. Look, it's the decent decent card. Uh, I'm interested in... Everything but Nia Jax versus Bailey, because that's just thrown in there to. If you ask me, that's just thrown in there to give him, you know, filler time. Um, but uh, you know, promises to be a pretty good card. But uh, you all, let me know what you're thinking in the comments below, because um, you know, Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns versus the Bloodline could go a couple of different ways. Simply because, and you'll be able to tell, simply where it's placed on the match card. And um, if it starts first, hey, we'll probably just have Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns winning. All right. It won't be anything special to it. But uh, let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think there's going to be some uh, nice fancy stuff uh, uh, going on with Cody Rhodes and uh, Roman Reigns, you think there's going to be some uh, different involvement, or do you think it's just going to be some one, two, clean, three, one, two, three, clean finish? Uh, Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns win. Do you think uh, CM Punk and Drew McIntyre is going to be a knockdown drag out of there, or do you think it's going to be just some? Um, boring matchup let me know what you're thinking in comments below
Don't forget to subscribe. October 26th is the season finale. Season 5 finale of Backyard Beatdown. You do not want to miss that. It promises to be a great show. But until I see you again, this is Webby, and I will catch each and every single one of you on the other side. Talk to you later.